All right, so this is my Generac GP15000. It's a 15 kW air-cooled generator. And I've made another video on YouTube that talked about a couple of problems that I had with it. Here we are a few years later, and uh, I needed it to work, and it didn't work. Um, finally figured out what it was, and I thought I would document it for anybody else that's got the same generator. So here's the symptom. I could choke it and start it, and as long as I was pushing the start button, the generator would, would run. When I let go of the start button, the generator would die. The engine was running fine. It started fine. Um, I knew it was an electrical issue because as soon as I, it ran fine as long as I was pushing the start button, as soon as I let go, the generator would stop. I did some uh, looking on the internet, and what I figured out, there was a couple things that it could be, but the most likely candidate, and it turned out to be the case with my generator, was right here, if you take the panel off your generator, there's a few screws that hold it on, but if you pull it off, right over here is a start-stop relay. And there's just a clip holding it in on this side and a clip on the other side. The part number that you need, it's a Schneider electric part um, for this relay. Um, I just pulled this out. I ordered it from Granger. Um, it was under 20 bucks on Granger, under $25 on Amazon. But it's a start-stop relay. It's a standard relay. Um, you can get your part number right off the top of your relay. But uh, anyway, long story short, um, I ordered the relay, came in today, and I just, with this relay in my hand and the new one, I uh, took the wires off and put them back on exactly like they came off. Stuck it back in, pushed the start button, and the generator works fine again. I wanted to document that for uh, anybody that's got a uh, GP15000 or probably a 1750 as well. It's, a, it's the big air-cooled generac generator but um anyway i figured somebody else uh, i had to dig for the for the info um and i figured somebody else would appreciate the uh you know the the info there is if you search long enough for start stop relay troubleshooting on the internet there's a um there's a guide for how to how to troubleshoot that it looked awfully troublesome for you know under 20 bucks so i just bought the relay stuck it in and it worked so hopefully that'll help somebody else um and uh, other than that, you know, it's a nice generator. It will power my whole house. Um, but anyway, if anybody else needs the info, I wanted to make sure there was a video out there for it. Talk to you later.